Sophie, the genius detective. Chirp, the hasty assistant. Lucy, the extravagant designer. Mary, the strict pastry chef. Ellie, the new age neighbor. Phil, the gullible daydreamer. Vic and Eric, the mischievous twins. Bella, the brave artiste. The Secrets of Honey Hills. The Missing Clock Mystery. <laughs> Chirp, is that you? Phil, why are you yelling? You've ruined my disguise. Oh, I'm sorry, but could you take a look at my new clock? <laughs> Yesterday, the numbers were glowing, and now they're just not. Is it broken? Let me see. Hmm. Well? It's clear, Phil. Your glowing clock has been stolen and then replaced with a normal one without you noticing. To find those who switched your alarm clock, we need to think like thieves. Thieves? How many were there? The investigation is still unknown. What's that? The crumbs? Mary's lemon cookies. That's evidence, not crumbs. We need to go talk to Mary about these cookies. Mary, be honest. Who did you give your lemon cookies to? Well, I don't know. Everyone that I know really likes my cookies. Some prefer lemon ones, and some prefer ginger. We need those who prefer the lemon ones. Mary, I must withdraw the cookies. Well, of course. Help yourself. They're still warm, you know. I think we should organize an experiment. We will offer everyone a choice. Whoever picks a lemon one is a thief. Oh, good hedgehog chirp. Nick, it's in your best interest to be honest. Which kind of cookie do you choose? Mm -hmm. Bella, think carefully. I'm gonna give you one last chance, okay? Which kind of cookie do you choose? <gasps> to suspect everyone at once. Phil, is there a theory as to why everyone chose lemon cookies? That's because Mary's lemon cookies taste better than the ginger. I like them too. Huh? Phil, you messed up the investigation. You should have told me that the crumbs were from you. Sure. Look! Ah, my investigation spooked the thief, and they returned your clock. Thank you, Chirp. The clock is found, but the criminal is not. So this case is only half closed. Now, well, does that happen? The alarm clock is normal again. It doesn't glow. Our thief turned out to be very stubborn. But who could it be? I know who's been replacing the clock. It's gotta be Ellie. How did I not think of that? Ellie can't see well in the twilight, which means she needs your glowing alarm clock. Hmm? What is she doing? And where is my clock? We'll find out now. <laughs> Hello, Ellie. Oh, 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 what a nice meeting. Wait a minute, I'll finish my set of exercises. Nine hours, 10 minutes. Look, Ellie's clock is docking. Well, yes, this is very convenient. Is there something else you wanted to ask? 
Not anymore. Come on, Phil. Sophie, I'm so confused right now. Someone has already switched Phil's unusual alarm clock twice. And you suspected Ellie because of her night blindness? Yes, but it's definitely not her. She doesn't need a glowing alarm clock. Of course, Chirp. After all, I am the one that gave Ellie the clock with the voice prompts. It's all clear. It's phosphorescence. Phosphor... wait, what is that? Phil, don't worry, your alarm's still there. Was it switched again? The third time? Who? Oh. <laughs> no, Chirp. Nobody touched the alarm clock at all. You see, Phil, your clock's face has a special solution that has been applied to it, which accumulates light during the day, but begins to glow in the dark. What a cool clock I have! So the case is solved then? Completely? I guess you could say that. Congratulations, Chirp. It should be dark by now. Chirp, what if this phosphorentia doesn't work? Not phosphorentia, but phosphorenia. <laughs>